Back to TV5 News at 9. It's now time for Education Matters. We're here with our great friend, Dr. Craig Douglas. Dr. Douglas, thanks for being here with us. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Good to see you. So today we are talking about different apprenticeship opportunities for students. So first, let's start off with the simple question of what is an apprenticeship? So an apprenticeship, Sierra, is, many times it's a registered apprenticeship mm -hmm. where there are national standards. Basically, it's tracking the amount of training required and the amount of job uh, training and uh, workplace training that's involved. So it's kind of a double track. Okay. It's on the job training and it's coursework. And Dr. Douglas, how is this different than an internship? Well, an internship may be unpaid or paid, and it may not be as rigorous as an apprenticeship. An apprenticeship many times has, I mean, a lot of hours required, mm -hmm. and a, an internship might be more tied to, you know, so many months or a semester of mm -hmm. time. And Dr. Douglas, tell us, why should students maybe consider doing some type of apprenticeship work? Uh, debt avoidance. Ah. <laughs> uh, many of us who have gone to college and have racked up uh, student tuition debt mm -hmm. uh, can tell that uh, any way to avoid that is a, is a good thing to consider. Mm -hmm. And many apprenticeships uh, will pay while the student is being trained. That's nice. So it's being, being paid, being trained in the field. I mean, it's a win-win for the employer. Mm -hmm. The employer drives a lot of it. And it gives the student an opportunity to, to kind of test the waters to see if this is actually mm -hmm. a career they want to pursue. Mm -hmm. if, if it's a click right out of the gate, hypothetically, it ha can happen often where a student is in an apprenticeship, being paid, mm -hmm. being trained, and then almost guaranteed a position after the training concludes. Yeah, that's I mean, awesome. And it's a win-win-win. So, Dr. Douglas, like examples of an apprenticeship would be maybe like, it's usually like trade work, right? It is historically, but recently, Sierra, it's been expanded. Uh -huh. uh, you take almost any field. In fact, I would advise anyone thinking about going into college, I would inquire to see if there are internships, paid internships, or apprenticeships tied mm -hmm. to it. And the reason being is so many uh, fields are short of mm -hmm. candidates, and so there are more and more emerging areas. Uh, quick, I'll just uh, give you a, a, a little bit of a report of a, a thing I happen to see, and that's at Wordsmith Air Force Base, the former mm -hmm. base in Oscoda. Coletta Air is uh, working up there, and I had a chance to tour the facility. I think I want to devote an entire segment to it, but in mm -hmm. terms of apprenticeships, they have 170 apprentices there mm -hmm. on the base, the former base, and they're paid $17 an hour to start with plus benefits. Nice. And that, that covers the time they're being trained mm -hmm. along with the time they're working there. Mm -hmm. That's just a, a slice or a snippet of an example of how the whole career uh, field is shifting right now. Mm -hmm. So anyone, look into anything. Uh, main websites are available. Like I went on web and looked at Delta College's website. Mm -hmm. Very robust information about apprenticeships that they mm -hmm. offer at Delta College, and I would say it's probably generalizable mm -hmm. for other community colleges in other regions. So, Dr. Douglas, the easiest way to find more, learn more about these opportunities is it just to go on the web and research them? Research the web, talk to the high school guidance counselor because they get information on, on programs like that. Mm -hmm. uh, begin that uh, introductory review early. Mm -hmm. Look at any of the career centers, the Saginaw Career Complex. Be, Bay Airnet Career Center, look through the various educational contacts with the field. Mm -hmm. Anything else you want to add, Dr. Douglas? Just, this is an exciting time to be a kid. You know? It is. Uh, for some of us that came through the pipeline back in the day when these things didn't exist, we say, boy, I wish that had been around when I was a student. Yeah, and you know, especially what I love that you pointed out is you kind of get a taste of the career field before you jump all the way in it and start taking all these classes and credits for something that you find out you don't like when you're like a sophomore. So Precisely, and I think awesome. workers in the field will tell you getting, getting a, a little bit of a viewpoint mm -hmm. early on will help direct your training. Absolutely. So it's more specific and yeah. more helpful. All right, well, Dr. Douglas, as always, it's a pleasure. Thank you. It's good to see you. Yes, good to see you, too. For more information, all you have to do is go to the 9 a.m. guest page on our website, WNEM.com.